Hello, this is just going to be a quick kind of walk through tutorial kind of thing um, showing off XBMC for kids what this is is a modification for XBMC for Xbox um, it's basically everything that isn't needed like media playbacks taken out um, so you can't play videos and stuff like that you can play audio which I'll get into in a couple of minutes um, it's a self-contained thing, so once it's installed on the Xbox, you don't need a PC. Um, you can install games off discs, you can create profiles, delete profiles, you can launch other applications. And in non-edit mode, as you can see we're in edit mode. Non-edit mode, you can launch games. Install games. That's it. So, I'll get into it just now. Now, when you first download it, you will have a folder called mods, a readme, a change, a change log or an update log and you'll have a batch file. You basically either build XBMC from the SVN, basically the source, using the Xbox XDK, SDK, or you download a nightly build from the forums, you should know where those are, XBMC for Xbox forums. Then you will get an XBMC folder, you will rename that to build, put it in the same folder as a batch file, double click the batch file, and it will prepare XBMC for you. You'll get an outputted folder called XBM XBMC for kids, stick that in your Xbox anywhere. Doesn't matter, just plonk it somewhere, make it your default dash, which I've done for my kids and myself because I work on it, so it's easier. Or has a, have it as an application. It's a fancy way of loading games. I don't know. Just stick it somewhere if you use it. So once you've used it, once you've got it on the hard drive and you've launched it, you'll be presented with this. Um, what this is is default edit mode and the master profile. Now we're going to create a profile in a second or two, and I'm going to talk you through what the menus say or what they do. So we'll launch this now. Default password is X A B Y. You hit start and it won't loads in. Don't tell your kids that because then they'll be able to change skin and day stuff and you don't want that. So auto install game, what this does is it uses Python script. It uses a Python script, sorry. Um it allows you basically DVD to exports can be controlled by a remote dot XML or remote something dot XML. So that when it launches, this was made so that you know you can use Python to create that file, and when it loads, it does stuff. So you can select an installation directory or a custom one. There's two default ones, and there's a, you can select a custom one if you want. There's also advanced options, which is really only useful for soft mods. It allows you install the it allows you to install the game as an ISO, and that's only useful if you're soft modded. If you've got a hard mod or a TSOP flashed, it's useless to us. So just you may as well just install everything. Everything is normal anyway. Um, manual install, self-explanatory. It just launches DVD to Xbox, as you can see. Um, this allows you, I use this one because I FTP over certain files. Uh, thumbnail.jpg and fanart.jpg mainly because I've got a custom ACL file, which you will get as well, which removes unused XPE files and certain crap that isn't used anymore. Um, and also renames the thumbnail.jpg to default.tbn and that's kind of settings. Only really two useful things in here would be network, if you're setting up your network to FTP to it. System, uh, don't really need. Programs, don't really need. Appearance, you'll need if you want to calibrate the screen. Because it's calibrated to my screens. File manager, if you want to launch other applications. And profiles. XABY, start. Now, this is obviously to create profiles. So, we'll create a new profile. We'll call it ABCDE. Okay. OK, select picture, so we'll give it uh, 
Okay, we'll just get a, there we go, get a leopard. Now, once you've selected your image, you leave everything else default, pick OK. It'll ask if you want to start with fresh settings, pick copy default. When asked about media sources, again pick copy default. Now, there's your new profile. Now, to log off, you push the right analog stick in, and you'll log off. Now we've got the new profile, we can launch it. So, you've already done this, so just pick OK. It'll load in. I'd also like to point out, each profile has their own saves, so um, you know, if you create another profile, they'll have their own saves. If you create another profile, they'll have their own saves, and so forth. It's I've done it that way so that your get you know my kids, your kids, you, your missus, whoever, doesn't bitch and fight and moan that you played their save or you overwrote their save or you deleted their save. You know, so you've all got your own saves, so nobody can bitch and moan about it. So when you first create a profile and you load up, you'll be presented with this. Everything is set up. Enjoy. Please change the skin to profile skin. Now you go straight to settings. X A B Y. Appearance. Up arrow until it says profile skin. I'll then load. Now you can back out and back out, and it will log you off. Now you just press A again, and it will load up and it should start processing all the games as you can see and I'm going to pause because this is going to take a little while so I'll be back when it's just about done okay so I'm back now this is the default view you get um, this is the only view you get I may add other views but you know, it's just meant to be for launching games, and this view is nice enough. It's fast, does the job. And I also, let me point out there's an advanced XML, advanced settings.xml included. This just increases the thumbnail quality. By default, it's 192. I just made it 256. Um, you could set it up to 1024 if you want, but you would need 128 megabytes of RAM because if you don't, it runs low and you end up with no RAM. Um, so 256 is ideal, good quality, and the you know it, you don't run out of memory. There's still quite a lot of megabytes left, and as you can just see, there's me rabbiting on. This is the info for. If you sit on a game for 30 seconds, it will show you some information. Basically, how many times you've played the game, it's space on the hard drive, and it's game location. So, now, the way I made this was so that there's no, there's no settings menu as such. So, excuse me, when in edit mode, you can access settings by pressing the black button. Um, you'll be asked for a password, you, X, A, B, Y, you enter that, you can go in and you can change appearance, so you can adjust the screen, stuff like that. You can enable a startup playlist, which I'll show you in a couple of minutes. Um, but when you're in non-edit mode, I made it so that to change backgrounds and disable fan art, you do all that from this menu, you know, you do it from here, this screen. So, for instance, as you can see in the background there, there's a fan up. Um, you want to disable it, you just press up, up. Simple as that, you know, you can't get any easier. But I suppose if you just made it up. Um, push down, you get the scroll bar for scrolling along quick. Um, push up, you can select your wallpaper. Or you can have a custom wallpaper. So... Let's just give it. Uh, I'll just give that. I don't know what that is. There we go. So a nice leaf. So you can have custom wallpapers. Um, you can revert it to default, which is blue, or you can just select another one. Now, 
there's also some other things on here that you can't see like um, just underneath the Xbox logo these are my custom thumbnails um, as you can see they're all uniform basically the Xbox banner at the top is the same in every single one they're all the same just makes it look nicer when you're scrolling through OCD um, bottom left it tells you basically what the buttons are and it tells you how to log off and stuff like that and like change fan art and wallpapers and stuff now in edit mode you can obviously get in here and you can change stuff press white button in normal mode you can't do that so we'll get into settings press black button you press X A B Y we'll go to skin I uh, may add more stuff in here just for the advanced users um, but for kids in general they don't need startup playlists and stuff but you know I usually sit for like quite a while changing stuff so it's nice to have some music playing um, as you can see I don't have a music view so if you want to create a music playlist use a different skin um, Confluence Light is included oh, I don't know how the hell you say that but it's included when you prep XBMC, it's on, it's on there you would use that to create your playlist and then you would just use this to select it so let's go in here playlist start up so when I back out here it will load back into the main view and it will start playing music <laughs> Get some random crap on here. Uh, default controls up, down, volume, left, right, seek. If you press X, you can change, you know, change track, stop, pause, so forth. Um, press X to exit that menu, or you can press the back button. So that's basically it. Um, I'll just show you non-edit mode so when you log off to disable edit mode you need a special password it's up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right A and what it does is it disables edit mode and reloads XBMC um, it uses a python script to change between configs if you want to know that um, I also use a Python script to change save directories all done by me so big headed so in non-edit mode when you launch a profile it will load and start playing music because it's start a playlist now before you could press white white now does nothing why does uh, in edit mode why take screenshots uh, because the left thumbstick pushing that in um, takes uh, reloads the skin because I'm editing it all the time so when you're in non edit mode when you press the black button you're presented with this now the first person who gets that the tops, you know, the main name at the top. I'll give you a thumbs up. I like. Um, but you need to be kind of oldish and actually watch some stuff. That's all I'm giving you. That's that. Anyway, that's basically it. This is XBMC for kids. And um, you can launch some games. Actually. I'll quickly show you. Oh, actually, no, I won't because I then need to load back in. Like, you'll see for yourself. And um, that's it. Kids can't do anything, it just works. It's got a nice looking skin, it functions, You're, it's, you won't run out of memory, you can play music if you want. It just works. And my kids like it. They can have their pink background, or their purple background, or a bloody. Powerpuff Girls or Pepper Pig, you know, background if they wish. Um, so, yeah, 
thanks for watching and if you download it if you have any issues let me know on the XBMC for Xbox forums um, or if you want anything you know specific you know I may add more views at some point I'm sure I already said that or I might have said that when I was trying to record this before don't know um, so yeah if you download it hopefully you enjoy it hopefully it's useful and hopefully your kids like it or you like it so thanks for watching ta -da.